Right, hello and welcome to the Geek Lab. And today uh, we've had a bit of luck because we've actually got the 3D printer working as uh, it can in the limited capacity it has at the moment because it does, the printhead isn't connected up properly. It obviously can't print at the moment, it doesn't have all its accessories. But uh, a lot of people have had trouble with this so I'm going to show you how I've done it. Now, uh, we've got we've got it connected up and we've got it powered on. Now, the software, you can run the software, make sure you're running it in administrator mode if you don't know how to do that. I have the uh, last tutorial on this uh, printer. Shows you just how to do that. So we just give a chance for the software to start up. Which will take a moment. It's a little bit longer on my computer because it's slow. Anyway, right, if you go into config, manual printer control, you'll get all this. Now, if you press connect, just wait a few moments. You have to be patient with this software. Do, 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 do. Holding music. And for waiting, we'll go command 7, then it'll come bright. And now the buttons are active, but you can't control it at the moment because what you need to do on the printer itself when it's finished it will have a hood <clears throat> and this hood has a little kill switch down here to detect whether it's on. So what we need to do is press that with a screwdriver or something and then we'll hear it start to fire up. Hang on, I shall go and do that. Okay, and now the printer has come on and done its self-checks and it's in the home position. Uh, depending on how out it was when it started, that could be in any position. So now we should have, there we go, full control over the machine. There's the Y-axis, forwards and backwards, the uh, Z-axis. Now it appears so far on the software you can only raise the Z-axis twice. Uh, I'll see some reason for that, and the x-axis, which is incredibly noisy on mine, but it is all uh, fine. It's just coming from the noise coming coming from the motor. Hmm. But uh, you can put, heat the bed, so it's showing actually it's 21 degrees at the moment. But you can raise them. I haven't tried doing the extruder because obviously it's not in position yet. That would be a bad move. Uh, but you can, uh, if you want to play with it, I know everybody wants to play with it, so if you get it out of position, and there we go, press the home button, if it will do some nice beeping, the green light at the bottom starts beeping, and everything will go back to the default home position. and the light goes back to its default blue. So there you go, that's how you connect it and get it going. Obviously it's not gonna print, but everybody wants to see it working just to make sure it is working. So that's how I did it. Now, if you're on Windows 10, you may need to also install a driver before you can use the software. In that case, uh, that's because I closed the software, it's going back to default again, and complaining. If you need to do the software, if you go to Google and search for the U the FT two three two R U R driver driver R, uh, search that. I went to this third one at the moment. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. You'll then see this lot come up. Uh, driver download. Now I can't be sure that this did make a difference, but this was recommended to me and it's all worked after that, so it may be the case that you need to use this. So if you, I'm just going to save it, open, uh, I use, sorry, you can see I've used it already, I'm going to open the archive there, and drag this to the desktop, close, close you can then go to settings 
do 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 system about and you can go to device manager uh, ports you'll see a USB serial com uh, port com4 if you then click uninstall it will uninstall that you then need to switch back switch off your printer switch it back on it will then come up with the install options At the, tell it to do a manual search and then when it's uh, when you do the browse point it to this folder just the folder itself uh, it will install that and then all I did was switch the printer back off back on fired up at the uh, software and all was hunky dory so there you go uh, Yep, and that guy's all nicely working. So, if you've uh, been in touch with Eagle Moss about regarding this situation, uh, troubles, and uh, yep, let me know in the comments uh, how they treated you, because uh, we may do some video about it in the future. But uh, let me know if this works for you. If it doesn't, uh, let me know too. Let me see if we can find any issues from the community, because uh, it's quite a big community in my Facebook group. So, links for that down below. So, uh, if you want to see more videos on the printer and you haven't already, then please subscribe. And in the cards on the right is my playlist of videos made about the printer so far. So, thank you very much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>